Hey Gabby, starting your reading at 1, 3, 3 a.m. Let's see what wants to come out. Hope you guys are all good. Got the Seven of Cups, present energy in the tower as the advice. There's clearly a huge change taking place. It feels very uncomfortable. Some of you could be connecting to the Orisha Oya. It feels like something within you out of your control that's how it feels it feels like things are shifting within you you could be having a lot of physical symptoms this could be affecting your sleep it could be affecting how you go about your daily be kind to yourself it feels like there's a lot shifting within you turbulent energies welcoming new energies in it feels like you could really be feeling ko feeling like just doing daily things is a struggle it's like be mindful of the current energy some of you could be seeing it like there's something wrong with you or feeling like trying to look for a reason why you're not working taking it as a like personal criticism like a dig at yourself that something isn't running how it would normally run whether that's yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. It feels like there could be a lot of destruction happening around you, within you. That's how it feels. It is that energy of rebirth, clearing the old. You're not stuck. This isn't it forever. Change is pending. Huge changes are pending. But it does feel like that in-between two worlds kind of energy. But you could be seeing flamingos a lot. You could be seeing flamingos a lot in terms of imagery on different things or maybe actual flamingos. I don't know where you're at. The Empress. Recent past. What it's feeling like is going from fighting emotions to creating space to fill them. Instead of something shifting you or you running from a feeling that you have the emotional strength, the capacity to create space for that feeling, to take the message, to take the lesson. It's like your body speaking to you. It does feel like something heavy. It feels like you've started to become aware how your mood affects others. This is going to resonate for different people differently take what resonates leave what doesn't but it feels like something could have really had you moving in an unhealthy masculine way it feels like you've shifted this to a healthy masculine energy that you're able to take action in a place of grace in a state of grace trusting your first instincts it's like nothing's too overbearing even these changes aren't it's like nothing's too overbearing even these changes aren't overbearing becoming the storm buffalo energy the sun the sun the empress the tower the moon you could be feeling a lot of rage it's like be mindful of what happens around you when you're in that place of anger how things shift it's giving that matilda energy of like things moving There's a word for it. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's going around my head and I know I'm going to just. The word, the letters are just jumbled up. So I'm even trying to see it in my eye. The Hierophant. Telekinesis. Telekinesis. Something like that. Be mindful of your energy. It feels like you've realised how powerful you truly are. That your reaction has more to do than just with what you physically do. It's like sending somebody good energy, sending somebody bad energy. It's like if someone really pisses you off, it feels like even if you wouldn't take revenge physically, that there's some kind of energy building within you, like sending out some kind of... It feels like walking karma. Maybe those that hurt you, it seems like things just fall apart for them, that you don't have to physically intervene, but things just fall apart. It's like some of this is bigger than you. 
some of this is that you have more control over certain things than you realise. That you're being asked to master your own fire. Instead of leaking that, letting that go to places where it's not even, it, it's not even worth your time, worth your energy. It's like letting go of things. If something still makes you mad, it's because you've not accepted it. It's like things could be coming up, past people, past situations, memories, people bringing things up in conversations that remind you of certain times. It's like just because you've decided you've had enough of someone, something or somewhere, doesn't mean that it's going to disappear. Doesn't mean that it doesn't no longer do exist. Just because you've changed your narrative of someone doesn't mean that they they have changed their narrative of you. And yeah, how we view people is the version of them that we receive. But it's like just because you've chosen to move on from something doesn't mean that somebody else has made that same decision. If things around you are reflecting a time that you've already moved on from and it feels like you're still in the same story that you shouldn't still be seeing these people or seeing these places or having these things come up feeling like this should already be done with, dealt with Don't let this fool you into thinking that you're still where you were It's like these situations are coming up to show you how far how separate you are from them now. Because it feels like some kind of fear of repeating a past cycle. But actually certain things are coming up, the penguin. Certain things are coming up. Because you're being prepared for something. It feels like soulmate energy coming in in the near future. There's things you don't know. There's things you can't see. The empress, the emperor, the moon, the penguin. the sun it's the energy of family and it's powerful it feels like whoever this person is you have similar intentions we'll look into this after strength 909 new super moon on the 9th of February in Aquarius great time to be setting intentions. You could be connecting to past loved ones, different deities, whatever it is. It's, it's something within yourself. There's something going on here. It's like you know, you're aware that something's going on. Learning to bend with the river. Something's coming up about the salmon, 144. The silver of salmon's skin reflects many lessons. To reclaim your inner knowing, you must see the opportunity in all situations and know that wisdom is earned through both life's easy and difficult experiences. And go with your gut feeling, trust your gut feeling and inner knowing at this time. Avoid the influence of those who may have hidden agendas or who manipulate events for their personal gain. Do you need to reflect on the personal experiences that will help you decide whether the tide is ebbing or flowing in a direction that benefits your forward movement and growth? Salmon medicine honours every encounter in life as a gathering of wisdom. It teaches that even when the flow of life seems to push you back, you can tap the hidden resources of your human spirit and personal inner knowing. The journey may not be an easy one. And the currents of public opinion may not be in your favour, but you can choose to honour the wisdom you carry and instinctually do what is right. The sacred keeper of wisdom and inner knowing, despite strong river currents, salmon will always return to the place of its creation. Its determination is driven by the wisdom of instinct and inner knowing which yields a sense of purpose that cannot be thwarted by external forces. Come in full circle, salmon medicine people finish what they begin, bringing life's events and cycles to closure. Page 233.
something had to be done alone like something you was doing needed to be done alone you needed to learn something that you could do something alone this is to do with your purpose to feel grounded in yourself it feels like really owning your decision making choosing what's right for you if in the past you ever put something on the back burner to please somebody else or stepped away from your purpose or invested less in yourself some kind of sacrifice of self it's like this lesson's been learned being your own best friend putting yourself at the top of your to-do list the top of your priority list nurturing what it is you want to do making it a priority it's like if you want something to happen then you need to go and make it happen. It feels like you've learned this. That you've had to make yourself number one. It doesn't feel like this has been something easy. So it's too much hassle. It's like something's too much hassle, the weight's too heavy. It's tight, it's like you know something has to change. It feels like you're gonna combust. Something's getting too much. It doesn't feel like you. Be kind to yourself. It feels like you're a version of yourself that you've not been before. Be kind to yourself as you're changing. That thing of uh, metamorphosis. How the butterfly takes time to like dry out before it can take flight. Divine timing. There's a process to things. Don't push yourself harder than, than you need to right now. Be kind to yourself, nurture yourself in certain situations. Doing less is going to bring you more. External influences. The unknown, it's the unknown. There could be a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, not knowing what to do with yourself, finding it hard to trust. You could have quite a split energy in terms of This is something I'm still battling with and it's programming. It's that thing of who you're around the most is something that it's like you become those that you're around the most. And a lot of the things that I do, a lot of the things that I practice, like tarot, prayer, meditation, light language, having psychic abilities, mediumship abilities like all these different things and from such a young age but my programming is what this like this is woo woo and i was speaking to my sister the other day and she was saying how she's just been like ko she's just knocked out this she's not been able to get up and do what she normally wants to do there's certain things she had planned and she couldn't actually do what she had planned to do and that it felt so out of her control. And I was like, oh, well, have you taken into account like the new energies coming in, like the light coming in, having to create space for that, the shifts that are taking place on earth, like you're bound to be knocked out emotionally, spiritually, like you could be going through a lot in dream time. Like, are you taking into consideration the light codes? Don't be hard on yourself. And she was like, yeah, like, you know, I haven't even, like, really took that into consideration. And although she's aware, it's like, it's just not something, again, with how deep programming goes. So then I've gone outside and I could literally, like, hear my guides. I was like, oh light codes yeah upgrades yeah new energy is coming in and it's like all week i've just been punishing myself for not doing enough for not being able to do what i would normally do why am i tired you've slept enough you've eaten right like why are you feeling this way and it literally it was like oh so why why can't you appreciate that it could be that that same thing and i was like light codes New Earth energy, like what a load of poppycock or whatever, like what a load of, what a load of woo-woo. 
and it's like oh my I just burst out laughing I literally spat everywhere because I was just like as if like as if this is a daily thing like this is something that I've been doing something that's been so natural for such a young age but still like the dominant story is this is a waste of time this is I'm living in a fantasy like these stories and it's not my necessarily my story but stories I have taken on as my own from others from those I've spent most time with and it's it's like in a very conflicting place to be because as much as I'm doing certain things it's like I'm not being able to register them because of how much resistance there is the fear of letting go of these old narratives that I've never truly believed in anyway but were there it's like feeling safe there's something about especially if you're the only one that believes what you believe or the only one that does what you do in your community in your environment the how we're kind of programmed to go with the masses to follow the masses it's like if three people agree with you, it feels like it, it backs you, it gives you more confidence. If a hundred people agree with you, if a hundred of people, hundreds of people validate you, it's like reassuring to know you're not the only one or to have some kind of comfort, some kind of confirmation that you're not alone out here or that you're not actually mad in some way when you're, do, when you're following your heart, but those around you just don't get it and there's something here about that that maybe you don't have that validation you don't have that confirmation and there's a reason for that it's like the anxiety comes from not doing what you want to do what's true to you the anxiety of what others are going to think about it is like minuscule compared to the anxiety that's coming from you not taking the leap of faith or one foot in, one foot out, or trying to live both lives, both worlds, that flamingo energy again in between two worlds. It's like maybe you're portraying yourself as one kind of person in a certain job, a certain role, because this is what you've always done for money, or this is what you've always done to keep some kind of social circle. It feels like you're being asked to destruct anything that's no longer you, the world, end end of a karmic cycle end of a era end of a season new beginning it's like drop the weight take off the baggage the baggage is anything that's not you seeing what am i saying mariah carey it's not jim carey jim carey right that was yeah about mariah what about being depressed that depression is just when you're not being yourself, when you're trying to keep all these stories and your body's just like, fuck you, I'm done. Like enough's enough. And maybe you have had to, like you have been doing things or had to do things for the sake of keeping something together. But especially how things are shifting right now and are gonna continue to shift. There's something about really getting into your heart space, coming back to the why. Why are you doing this? Does it light you up? Because if you're moving in that in that heart space, if you're doing what's true to you, even if on paper or logically you shouldn't be able to make money from this or you shouldn't be able to do something or live a certain way because of what you've been told or what you're seeing. It's like when you're moving from that place of love in your passion, in that excitement, that like what truly lights you up, you will be cared for, catered to, supported. But it means overcoming this fear of the what you've always done, the known. Maybe like paycheck to paycheck. You know on a certain date you're going to get this in your account. Maybe you're being guided to do and go a new way. Something uncertain. It's like the uncertainty is the blessing. Instead of seeing the change as a threat, seeing it as an opportunity. I hope to, was to replenish, to fill your cup, to clear some kind of stagnant energy 
it could be from anything it feels heavy the emperor the outcome moving on two three three two the world the emperor the world sitting on the sun the lovers okay the lovers the world the emperor the empress the fall the moon the tower that did come through earlier okay what is this somebody's coming in they want to build something long term with you it's like this person's not just coming in um in like a sporadic way or somebody that comes in and out this person's very stable they've spent a long time understanding themselves what they want and how they want it for some of you it's like this person knows who you are is about to reach out to you or it's like you already have something some kind of communication with this person. It's like this person spent a long time thinking about this, about reaching out. It's not just an impulsive move. This is something that means something to this person. They've been in deep thought about this. They've visualized the future. They've already made like a plan. It's like strategically laying something out, seeing how something would go. working out the next step somebody's already been to the future come back and it's like they want to create that story with you for those of you that this is somebody you've never met like a new energy it feels like that same energy but maybe not specifically with you in mind but this is something this person wants something that it's like they've prepared themselves for this. You could be feeling like this is really random. This isn't going to resonate for all of you. But throughout the day, you could be like feeling soulmate energy. You could be feeling this person's energy. Even if you don't know them, even if you haven't met them, you could be feeling some kind of shift or it's like... Sorry, guys, Barry. Some kind of shift. Yeah, the way out of this emotional turmoil, the way out of feeling confused is to commit. Some of you have been feeling unsettled or it's like a want to settle down, a want to know where you're at. Some of you could be holding back from jumping into your purpose, fully jumping into something that is authentically you, that you thrive when you're doing it. Something that you're passionate about, that lights you up, something that it feels almost like you could be feeling like something's too fun for it to be your work. 2am, three of pentacles, the hierophant, eight of cups. The magician it this could stem from like hard work programming it's spirit like, give me a chance give me a give us a chance here guys like if you're asking for passive income if you're asking for financial freedom if you're asking to create time if you want to relax you want to live a certain lifestyle and you won't sit down for a minute. You won't take your foot off the gas. You won't slow down. You won't put everything down for a minute. You won't relax. You won't enjoy yourself. You won't have fun. You're so focused, locked in, gripped tight, gripping tight onto this. It's like, well, you're asking for this. Like, if you're asking for that, but you're manifesting the other. Action is part of manifestation. If you're trying to manifest a therapeutic lifestyle, then incorporate time to rest. If you set out to create passive income because one of your goals is to rest and relax, to enjoy luxuries or enjoy time, create time, buy back time, 
spend time with loved ones, whatever it is. It's like invest in that now. How are you energetically confirming to the universe that you're ready, that you're worthy? The quickest way to create something is to shift your identity. And even if it's in a small way, maybe you don't feel guided to completely stop doing something. But make it as an equal priority to taking action, to two. two. Your energy matters. You are your own resource, the, mag the magician. Reflection's necessary. Take time to reflect. It feels like spirit's trying to make you conscious of a thought, of a feeling, of something maybe that's been suppressed, that could be subconsciously driving decision making, affecting how you're taking action. In order to make better decisions, slow down, tune in, be honest with yourself, brutally honest with yourself about how you're feeling, about what you want to create. And remember, your energy matters. It's not just what you're doing, it's the energy you're doing it in. Yeah, you can get quick results. Yeah, you can manifest amazing things in any kind of energy. But we get what we put out. And it's like there's really no getting out of anything, getting away with anything when it comes to that. Be mindful. And it's like you could have been aware of, be made aware of something. It's like you couldn't really know your own ability to ruin someone's life without even having to do anything. And it's like, but it's, it feels like this would hurt, this hurts you or this would hurt you more than it would even hurt them because it's not truly what you want to be doing. But it feels like an, a way out because physically nothing's been done. It's like not, te it's like that energy of not telling a lie, but not telling the truth. Like from an external point of view, someone would believe they've already been forgiven, something's been let go. That maybe things that are going wrong have nothing to do with you specifically. But it feels like you have a knowing, something's been made aware, you, it's, been, it's become conscious of how... your intentions and how you direct your energy starts within you with thought and feeling. It's like learning to catch something just as it sparks up, just as it starts up. Transmuting that. Accepting it. Taking responsibility for the unhealed collective creating space in you. It feels like this destructive energy that you may be feeling within you, you can continue to waste by sending it out, whether in whatever way that is, maybe telepathically, maybe in whatever way, or you can catch it before you've made that your na the narrative, before you've given a meaning to something, before you've amplified how someone's made you feel. It's like winding yourself up. It's like catch it before you wind yourself up. Breathing into your heart, seeing them as separate to you than you. That energy of alchemy is that someone maybe, it could be hurtful it feels like there's a reaction and maybe even like, it feels like not even a need to get up to even think about taking revenge because it's like as soon as that feeling comes within you, you know that that alone is enough to
you know, show over, show's over, guys. Eight of Wands. It's like channel this in a different way. This is free fuel. Choose to be happy. And make that the revenge. But like genuinely. That the amount of pain and hurt and rage and anger and commotion that's coming through here. That could be rattling around within you. That that is pure power. If you can see it as separate from you. I'm seeing someone literally like take out a ball of energy from within themselves and. Nurture that. It's like be one with the pain, the feeling, the emotional pain. Where is it coming up in the body? Where do you feel that? Affirm you're strong enough to hold that. Breathe through that. And make a conscious decision. To not pour that back into someone else's cup, even if it's for good or if it's for bad, at this moment. What's coming through is that the energy of the food we eat, Nine of Cups, if you're in a bad mood and you make food and just like unconsciously, clumsily, chop things up, not take too much care, throw it around, cut it up, throw it in the pan, eat it, whatever. Not not present, being present. It's like that won't have the same effect on the body as if you nurture that with love. The energy we put into something, how we touch the food, how we clean it, how we wash things, cook things, prepare things, even saying prayers over the food, energy healing, Putting good energy into the food. Different mantras, different different affirmations. That there's actually a, a shift in the nutritional value of the food. A shift on how the body reacts to the food. Everything's energy. It's like you can be nourished by your own anger. It's like seeing it as a tool, seeing it as... It's like setting a belief that everything that comes to you, comes at you, you can use in your favour. Even if it's a lesson. And that alone. Strength. How long? 38 minutes. I've just been rambling. It's been a minute since I've done a reading to be fair. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from relaxation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. And we've got the moon... Powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation, number 18. Protect the fruits of your labours, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead, environmental conservation. Ladybirds on this. Is it a ladybird or a ladybug? Why now am I thinking, has it ever been a ladybird? And why would it be? Because it's got wings. I don't even know. Here's a ladybird, right? Or a ladybug. Or the different places call it different things. I don't know. Anyway, there's something about that. So check that. The meaning of that. It's come up for me before and it's, it's not there right now. Obviously, I would share remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontation this is what i'm saying with this oil energy it's like be mindful 
of what you could create. So I let it go. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. If you're finding yourself kind of face down, starfish energy, creatively paralyzed, unable to get moving, unable to shift. It's like be kind to yourself. Do things to get back into your body, but in a, in a fun way. And it could be anything silly. Like for me, dancing always helps. I'll go and like go to the gym, go use the spa. But even like the other day, me and my sister, we went to the park and I was literally swinging on the swing and going on like the, in the children's bit, like just playing. Like just, just play. No judgment. Just let it all go. Like let your hair down, that kind of energy. Do something just for the sake of doing what feels good. You know, like if you're, like how children, They'll see a rock. They'll decide they're going to climb it. Oh, that wall over there, I'm going to jump that. I'm gonna, they'll see something and they'll just impulsively, instinctively, that looks fun. This looks interesting. That curious nature, go and do it. Do they think about the consequences? No. They just follow that gut feeling, follow their heart. If it lights them up, off they go. Do that. Put aside emotional concerns. Focus on achieving financial security. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. Last note, quickly. There's something about stop looking for love. Not to... It's that like you may have someone in mind or like you think someone's coming back from the past. It's that like you're being asked to let go. To stand alone. Stand strong in your own frame. Know it's just you here right now. As much as you may be connecting to the, an energy, it's like of this new person coming in. Some of you could be confusing this for somebody you've already known. This does feel like something new. It feels like let go of what's been, let go of what's done. Whatever will be, will be. The universe is trying to surprise you. Don't get in the way of that. I'm gonna leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you soon. Sending so much love.